All of the dancing technique which you're learning in your private lessons or on your group classes already require to have a proper upper body strength, good posture and nice balance. That's why it is absolutely necessary for all dancers to do a complementary work on developing balance between flexibility and strength of your upper body muscles. And that is exactly what we are gonna do right now. What's up, amazing ballroom dancers? Alexi is here and welcome to Ballroom with Alexi. I'm super excited to share with you this set of exercises which help you to develop a much better posture. So, what is the good posture? Good posture is the healthy combination of strength and flexibility of the entire upper body muscles. All of that complex system is supporting your proper alignment of your blocks of weight, which is your head, shoulders, chest, ribcage, and uh, pelvis, right? All of this should be aligned, so your head, shoulders, chest, and pelvis align over your feet. And let's be honest, guys, the modern lifestyle is absolutely not helping to develop a better posture, right? We're spending way too much time on the cell phones, typing on the computer, sitting on the desk, and that automatically puts our shoulders forward and shifting them off of the alignment. And that develops the upper back curve, the hinged back, which is called kyphosis. So in the kyphosis, our shoulder blade muscles are way too loose, but the front part is very tense and very uh, contracted. So this tension in the shoulders is easily throwing you off of your balance when you dance. So it's very important to fix that for your dancing, but not only for your dancing. Come on, it's just so much better to have a better posture just for regular life. All right, guys, so in this set of exercises which I'm about to share with you, we'll fix the problem of kyphosis, so the hinged shoulders. So we'll open up your chest, We'll work on movability of your shoulder joints and movability of your shoulder blades. So, let's jump right into the exercise. The entire set which I'm going to do right now, for the entire set, we're going to need one prop. One very important prop and it is the regular, regular stick. This stick is going to help us to develop a better posture. All right, guys, so uh, starting position is our feet on the shoulder lengths apart from each other. Knees can be slightly bent, stretching in your spine, making sure that there is no extra tension in our shoulders and our sh uh, sternum notch is lifted. Okay, so we're taking a stick and here we go, first exercise. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if you see, I'm moving my stick up and a little bit more back and moving my foot away as well to create a nice stretch in the, sh in the chest, in my chest. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Easy as that. Let's keep going. Second exercise starts with your arms up and we move to the side, to the side, to the side, to the side. And one, and two, and three, and four. And one, and two, and three, and four. So with this exercise, we're developing movability in your shoulder blades and make sure that entire movement stays in the frontal Plane. Do not curve forward and back. Make sure that you're just staying in this one frontal plane. All right. Third exercise as well starts with your arms up. And we go to the side and to the side and to the side and to the side. And right, so same idea. We're moving. Whoopsie. <laughs> Whoopsie, not enough space. We're moving in the frontal plane. 
So making sure that you're not curving forward, just stay in the frontal plane. With this exercise, we are stretching our lats muscles right here, and as well, we're working on our core. So try to make sure that you're keeping your elbows straight and um, moving as well on the frontal plane, okay? Awesome, that's the three exercise. Fourth one, so on the fourth one, we're going to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, so I'm keeping one arm down and I'm going around and back with my left. Then I'm coming to the original position, position with my right. One, two, three, four. Very useful exercise as well. We're stretching entire chest. We're stretching our lats. We're stretching entire upper body and we're contracting shoulder blades together. Very, very useful exercise. Fifth exercise is actually one of my favorite. So it looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you see with this action right here, we are reaching maximum stretch in our chest and our shoulder blades are really, really tightening. They like contracting and moving toward each other and engaging the entire group muscles of our shoulder blades. This is really useful exercise. And by the way, the closer you are to the center, the harder it is. So you should definitely start with the pretty wide grid, but uh, along the way, moving on closer to the center and you will notice that the more, more often you're doing it, the more flexibility you are developing, right? And then maybe one day it will be all the way here. But yeah, let's work our way to this. For the next exercise, I'm changing the grid. I'm moving my stick behind the back and grabbing it in this position. So my uh, palms face in front, yes? And I'm closing it and I'm going to do same action like in the previous exercise, but reverse. So I'm moving my stick from back to forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For the next one, we're going to bend forward, lift the arm to perpendicular position for, to your back, lowering your arms and going back to original position. One more time. One, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, stretching right here, yes? Five, six, seven, eight. As well, all of that said, I would recommend to move your um, arms a little closer to the center. Uh, that is going to be more, more challenging. Up and down and straight forward and up and, down. and straight. So eight repetition of this one uh, would be enough. Moving on to the next exercise. So we're gonna move our arms up, down, up, down, five, six, seven, eight. And as well, the closer you are, the more challenging it is, but I would actually recommend to move your arms a little closer because we're not moving all the way around, we're just lifting to the parallel position, yes? And as well as developing really, really nice um, contraction of your shoulder blades. Your shoulder blades moves toward each other, then away, toward each other, then away. Awesome, so we're doing one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, and then we're doing static one. So we go one, two, three, four, and holding, 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 eight, and then repeat one more time. Eight counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and hold, 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 five, six, seven, eight. Awesome, we're good. All right, guys, and I'm already sweating. That's crazy. Okay, so one of the finishing exercises is going to be paddling. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we will move back, 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 seven, eight, and one more time. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and back, 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 back. All right, and we finish our set with the stretching of your spine. All the way up, reaching as far, as far as you can. Then relaxing, going all the way down, relaxing your neck, relaxing your shoulders, letting your spine to stretch a little bit after hard work. And one more time, all the way up and down. Then you can contract it back and extend it forward. Contract it back and extend it forward. By the way, we don't need the stick anymore. <laughs> Contract, oops, the back and extend forward. And I would recommend to finish this exercise with a nice stretch. So I'm moving my arm behind the back and second arm over and trying to touch my palms. Yes, so the closer you go, the better and try to hold it for a little bit. If you cannot reach, it's totally fine. My right side is uh, less flexible, probably because of the injury on my right shoulder. So I am not, I wasn't able to reach at first, but now with, I'm doing this set and it's actually helping me a lot and I already can reach. I still feel like my right side, my right shoulder is less uh, movable than my left one, but I'm definitely noticing the progress. Yay! All right, guys, that's it from me. Thank you very much. I hope that this set of exercises is going to be helpful for you. And if it is helpful, make sure to press like and subscribe to my channel. As well, remember that key is the consistency. So put this set of exercise into your warm-up or into your morning routine so you will do this more often thank you very much i will see you next thursday and until then have fun dancing ba, ba, ba. Woo.